Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a soybean field located in southwest Indiana, where a pair of John Deere X9 1100 combines equipped with HD 50R 50 foot wide hinge frame draper heads are harvesting the crop. In this video, we're going to take a look at John Deere's new 50 foot wide hinge draper head. We'll take a ride in the combine cab and visit with the operator and talk about the advantages this type of header has running with the big 460 bushel, 690 horsepower X9 1100 combine. We'll talk about the machinery's production history, specifications, and list price. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear all this harvesting action. The John Deere X9 1100 Combine and HD 50R hinge frame draper are brand new for model year 2021. This is the largest harvesting team available from the company. This monster combine is manufactured at the company's Harvester Works located in East Moline, Illinois. It's powered by a John Deere PSS 13.6 liter 830 cubic inch diesel engine with a maximum horsepower rating of 690. The combine is fitted with a 330 gallon diesel fuel tank and has a 460 bushel grain tank that unloads from a 31 foot auger at 5.3 bushels per second. The massive 50 foot wide John Deere HD 50R hinge frame draper allows for maximum harvesting capacity with this X9 1100 combine. We're going to take a ride in the cab of the machine to talk with the operator about the advantages this new header and combine have brought to the farm's harvesting operation. I know many viewers are always curious about the list price of this type of big machinery and according to JohnDeere.com the list price for an X9 1100 combine in 2021 is $814,815. The HD 50R hinge draper has a list price of $128,745. Let's take a ride on the X9 1100 with the HD 50R draper head. Oh, I'll get it. Well, here we are in the X9 cab. It's a very nice setup and it'll be impressive to see this 50 foot draper. degrees 
just uh, opening up the field right now. So you just make two passes with these 50 foot heads and then three. Three. We'll do three. It gives you plenty of room to turn on the ends. Otherwise, it's kind of tight. guidance it's self steering on a 50 foot path across the field and we're about to come up here to the headland and the operator just turns it around uh, for the next pass and the auto guidance takes over again I imagine uh, for as dusty as this crop is, it's helpful to have the auto guidance oh, to absolutely. see where you're headed. You can't see out the end of your, out, you can't see the end of your head sometimes. It's a long ways out there. So the farm uh, in the past was running three S790s. Uh, what what size headers were you running on those? We had 45 foot flex drapers on them. And then this is the first year we went to 50 foot hinge drapers, which are pretty good. They're really neat because they fold in the middle like when you're on a terrace. It actually looks like the head's broken in half because it's it's leaning that bad. But it, the only bad thing is it doesn't have a flex cutter bar, which small valleys are hard to get. But for the most part, they do a really, really good job. Have you found a significant difference um, as far as getting a few more acres in a day going to the 50-foot the head? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it definitely helps. I mean, it's a lot more material coming in at once. So, of course, these combines, they'll handle it. They're, they're horses. <laughs> so, in a, in a typical day, if everything's running really good uh, with 2X9 1100s, what are you covering in beans with this, this header setup? Or? I would say we're averaging probably 350 to 400 acres a day. It just depends on how much you got to unhook and hook and move. I mean, that does take time, but we got a pretty big crew of people. You'll, you'll see here after a while, whenever we go to unhook, it's people running everywhere. So, but it just depends on how much you have to move. If you got all good going and you don't have to take your head off, you can get 400 acres pretty easy with these things. So in, in a good bean crop, what uh, what kind of bushels are you seeing per hour getting moved by this um, combine? I think the other day when we were cutting about 85 bushel acre beans, I was doing on average about, I think it was, uh, gosh dang, you're gonna make me think now. I was thinking we were doing about 2,000 bushel an hour per combine, a little over 2,000. Oh, that's very impressive in beans. That's, uh, <laughs> Four truck loads an hour, <laughs> that's a lot. So the, the combine's harvesting a lot of beans and we're running it four and a half to four miles per hour. We can hear a few beans hitting the window, but I guess that's just an unavoidable part of harvest when they start to really dry out later in the day. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, they're getting down 10, 11 percent. You're gonna have a little bit of that. 
So when you um, when you're setting your reel speed, how do you decide how fast to set that to um, kind of make sure you're swathing those beans into the draper? The biggest thing is just where it's just barely barely laying it over onto the belt. You don't want it throwing it in the back of the head. I mean, just barely to the as it's laying it on the belt. Looks like the combine's kind of running about four to four and a half miles per hour here for the, the header. Yeah. So I also see you have your uh, your tailings elevator, uh, also the cameras so we can see the oh, yeah. you can, green. You can look at the tailings. There's there's nothing in the tailings hardly at all. That's a good clear picture too. And you've got your grain return, uh, which shows everything moving through. And, Looks very clean. A few halves in there, but not many. Probably slow it down just a little bit. It's starting to get pretty dry in the day. So everything else for the combine is uh, controlled through this joystick here in the screen. And yeah. Yeah, you got your see your header up and down, your feeder house tilt, which it's all automatic right now while you're running down the field. And then your reels, your four and a half, and up and down, and, and your unloading auger. Then we got head tilt angle, your cutter bar angle, and then you got your typical spout. Of course, the X9 combines have typical spouts on the combines. So you can, if the wagon's not exactly the right distance from you, you can, he can, you can tip it in and out. And how, with a 50 foot head, that's a big reach. Uh, the, the, does a longer unloading auger help quite a bit? And oh yeah, yeah, it definitely helps, but they still run pretty tight to you. <laughs> I mean, they're, it's three, four foot, it feels like. When you're sitting here, it looks like they're about against you. Do the, um, at night, I know the tips on the headers light up. Does that help the grain cart operator? Oh yeah. See, I imagine, especially in the dust of the beans. Oh yeah, yeah, it definitely helps them. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in this Indiana soybean field during the harvest with the 50-foot wide John Deere HD 50R hinge frame draper and X9 1100 combine. I'd like to hear in the comment section below this video if your farming operation raises soybeans. Tell me about your combine and the header that you're running to harvest the crop. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional harvesting content from this channel, continue to watch the video for a few more seconds to the end screen for a direct link to more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, thank you for watching.